Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brick Freaks, today with the second part of the assembly of Jegao or Lele's QL0910 from their Street View series, that's the corner mall, 3474 pieces for 79 dollars. This is a stolen mock from Brickative. So you have two links in the video description. One goes to this set on your world of building blocks where you can get it for 97, 79, nee, 97 dollars with worldwide shipping. And the other link goes to the Brickative site where you can build the original instructions for 23 dollars. And please do this because this will be, a cr when we finished, a great, great modular. And together it's $120 and you get a brilliant house and have a, a good consciousness or a, a free mind because you paid the designer. So please buy the original instructions for $23. It's really worth. I bought them for the old tavern and I bought the original instructions for this year. I won't use it. I have a, a folder with digital instructions. Mostly I never use them, but sometimes I have the feeling the original designer has to get my money. And this here is definite, definitely a case where you should buy the original instructions. This house is amazing. The the size of the first floor is really small because you see here a lot of free room in here. So the first floor is not too big as only this little beauty, uh, fashion boutique. Here is only the entrance to go to the second floor and here we have a gate where the cars can get through or Perhaps a delivery van to deliver here our things for the fashion store, fashion shop. Okay, these are building steps one, two and three and made so a lot of fun. So please watch part one. Now we're starting here with the building steps four, five and six. And I hope we have together a lot of fun in this video because, yeah, these brickative buildings are really amazing. Okay, let's start. So, like every modular, the beginning of the second floor is the floor. <laughs> and we have a lot of normal plates and underneath a lot of 1x and 2 by something. And here for the staircases, our hole. And we just so here is a hole at the moment, but uh, in four building steps there will be a blade underneath this. I checked it because I couldn't believe that they let here <laughs> this hole, but it won't be. It will be fixed. And here on that side, we have to look how we get this down with one hand. I don't get it. Okay, but. My hope that this space here is used in the second floor is gone with the wind because we only have this. So. so, but the first floor was only a third of the base plate, but now we have nearly half of the base plate with this building. Okay, so let's tile. I believe we tile most of here, we will see. I hope we tile this here, most part. Okay, let's go further. So our plate is definitely finished here. We inserted some more plates underneath, so every hole is covered. This here was the hole we have seen, so it's covered. Seven brackets here on the side. The 2 by one bracket or the one by 2 bracket or how you want to call it. I don't get the tiling here. It's dark brown and brown. 
And what I don't get is between the dark brown tiles are always the normal modified tiles. I don't get it why, but it is what it is. We will see. Perhaps it has a purpose. We will see later. I don't know. What I recognized is, you see this, the, only the dark bluish, uh, the dark brown tiles, they have, they are not so good from quality. I don't know, perhaps some of this will go away when I go with some water over it and perhaps something to clean. But you see definitely that the, the dark brown tiles are not so good. This is the worst one. It has really heavy scratches. But I don't know why the dark brown tiles are not so good as the rest. Perhaps Shegao or Lele has another supplier for the dark brown pieces. They don't have them themselves. I don't know. But overall this is nearly everything we have to tile. And now we are starting to building the walls. So, so far I am. This here, that piece, is to cover this angle here over the entrance. Then we have a, a Technic piece here, a gear. The masonry bricks should be in this way says the instructions. Oh, so I put it this way. Perhaps when I'm finished I say, oh I don't like I like the other style. We will see. Here we have a I don't know water. It's four by eight studs and these are the two by two brackets, the big ones tiled on the other side. So we have this little gap where we see the grey blade underneath. But we see the grey blade underneath on a lot of parts here through the modified plates. What I don't like is that this slope has slightly other color than this. What is these are the only slopes in in this building step? So they must be right, but they have not the same color as the masonry bricks here. I don't know if this purpose from Brickative or they had just another supplier for the slopes who hasn't the right color. I don't know. We will see how it will look in the end. So we are finished here with building step 4 and really assembled for one step. So we have got these new parts here, then they are just four round blades on a bracket. Inside we have these two gears connected at the moment with nothing. And this little machine, because this set in the original from Brickative, it doesn't or it isn't called corner mall because it is no mall it's obviously one obviously one shop inside this building and so it's definitely no mall it's wick slab victor frank frankenstein frankenstein his lab so perhaps this is a machine to give life to his creation we will see. So a little bit further. Here we built this section, a little stool, a printed tile, newspaper, here's something to write. And this you can bring down and it's a uh, like a bed for perhaps, I don't know. These are I see it. The modified tiles. So we build here a little working place. This stool has a very nice, or the chair, building technique. That's the tile with studs underneath and then you bring on the ladder and a tile and a blade underneath 
and so you can click it into one of these. And there you have the little stool on his working place, a microscope and I don't know what liquids are in this this bottle and this quarter here. This is new. Some details in there. This here is new. So here we have the look. Okay. So we build the stairs with the same technique as in the ground floor with here the Technic connectors, then here the toilet. And I believe this barrel is for washing or fresh water drinking, I don't know. This here is new, then this wall. That's normally Technic, our but I love this style here in the corners always. Here we have a hinge, so perhaps this corner is to make it open to have a better look at a really cool interior here. The gears still have no function, but we have here uh, pipes, valves, what is it? Pipes. Valve is the thing on the pipe to turn on, yes, so this is pipes. Then this, uh, this black thing here is the same as Spider-Man has as a web in black instead of white. Then another pipe here goes down to the machine. So perhaps this machine is creating energy and lead it to this water here, the little pool to awake the creation of Dr. Frankenstein to awake it, bring it to life. Okay, nice. Well, this wall has grown. Two more windows, some plants. I don't know if we will bring on something here on the studs, but I believe we will. Here we have a, a wiener, a hot dog. This wall has grown. This here is new inside. Yeah, this wall looks just cool. This is new, this part, the windows. Then we can open here this. Okay, it's only at one hinge at the moment, but with the second it will be. So here we have the, the modified brick, and here is a brick with stud on side. And so just click it in. That's cool. I love now to open up the modulars. That's really cool. So it's it's easier for me at, at the end to make the review. So I can uh, play with normal camera, don't take, take it to my hand and can show it to you. There's enough light in the building then. So here this wall is finished too and this looks really cool. It's a nice Nice technique with the windows, really. The same building technique with windows with these handles here is there. And the corner, you see it? Yes, the Mold King Disney Castle or the Magic Castle. It's not Disney Castle. There we have for one window section, the same building technique as here. And it looks cool. So, step five is finished. And here we have the room of Victor Frankenstein. <laughs> something to wash, something to poo, something to eat, something to sleep, something to write. That's his little room. Poor guy. Really poor guy. We finished this wall here with windows, everything. Here's the possibility to click it open. Yes, the instructions said uh, one panel so and one panel so. No mistake. This lab is just too cool, really nice and detailed. Here we have a ladder inside this wall. And so, 
I just close it. That's cool. The Sembo uh, coffee house that I built last week that was made with uh, a Technic pin into a Technic brick. This works fine too. Okay. So four and five are here now, really entertaining. Six will bring us the missing walls on this side and the tiling overall. Really, this was entertaining. So much nice details in the lab and nice building techniques of the wall and everything. Just really entertaining. Okay, let's go to six. Oh, here I assembled this little desk here. It's a, a stand desk where you stand when you work. And it's made with bricks, modified bricks with studs on side, normal bricks, hinges, slopes. And we have a printed newspaper and here's something to write. It's the same utilities we have here in his small living, sleeping, washing room of Dr. Victor Frankenstein. And I showed you this because it will be assembled here inside this little structure of the house. And we won't see it later. So I showed it to you that here Wix Lab is really, really one of the most detailed rooms I have built in a modular building. Great. So I'm building the next wall. I believe it will be placed there. I'm not sure, but it looks that it will be there. Okay, the first thing here is we have a lot of these modified bricks in light bluish gray with here the hole on the back. And you see there's one this way and the next goes this way. And in between are modified bricks in tar with studs on two sides. And on the studs we can make here our silver uh, you know what I mean I don't know what they are called and then you are starting over with bricks and here the fence, a window, next bricks here modified bricks and later on we will have a nice a nice part of a wall with a nice window. I love this building technique from Brickative. It's really okay. Makes a lot of fun. And it's totally different than the Lego modular building way. Mostly layers of layers of bricks and all are one or two studs to the side. Brickative has a totally different approach for building walls. You have this kind of walls or walls you can click out or something like that. So that's, that's nice with this part of walls. That's really nice. Or this sort of walls. So we started so. I showed you the progress after one window and here it's a lot more. Uh, incredible how much work and try and error you need to build this way the wall so you can put it in there and what really cool is you not only build the wall you build the connection to this part here this is a six studs blade and here are six studs and so you connect it to here you have one pin there and the connection here and this will hold hold the whole wall it's incredible i don't know how many hours the designer are using or needing uh, have has needed i don't know my english grammar is horrible i know you know what i mean how many time in such a set i need eight to ten hours to build them i believe you need 40 to 60 hours at least only for the instructions 
And to create something like this, this with the, with these building techniques and this grade of detail you have and the different parts and everything, that's incredible. That at least uh, I would say four or five hundred hours at least to design a building and uh, like this and make the instructions at least four or five hundred hours. So the twenty-three dollars I believe for the instructions are absolutely worth the money. Absolutely worth the money. So okay, we assembled this here and now I will assemble it here. Yes, it fits perfectly. It holds, I know, only on this dot, but on the other six down there. That's cool. And this looks like a cupboard or something. So incredible, really. The first floor was a little bit boring, just a little bit. But the second floor here, wow, that's great. Again, a look. But this is what I wanted to show you. This will be assembled here. Close the gap. And this is nice too, again. A lot with studs on side technique to assemble here the tiles. The same here. Bricks with studs on side. Brackets. Everything. Nice. Uh, I believe. No? It's right, it was a light. Okay. So, let's give this a try. Will? Ah. Uh, I believe I need two hands to get this. <laughs> and, ah, now I see. This is. This must be a little bit higher. So, let's see if we can make it with one hand. I know there's a movie called One Handed Swordsman. From, it's a Hong Kong action movie from the 70s or 70s. Yeah, I believe 70s, the golden era of Shaw Brothers and the one-handed brick man no he don't get it I need two hands so I show it to you in the next take we've done it the building steps four five and six there is another layer of bricks around here and in here then we tiled everything, built here the wall to easy remove. It's only on two studs and three studs, but it's safe. Here's a little gap and I checked three times. It's not my mistake, it's in the instructions. You see this little gap? Okay, perhaps it has a reason. Mostly here from Brickative the things have a reason. I don't know if in the last building step for the roof we make some things here, I don't know, because only the four studs looks a little bit weird. If it isn't so, I will use some other modified blades to bring something on here. I like this here very much. It looks cool and it's in haven't seen before, so that's always nice. If you see building techniques or decoration stuff for the facade you have never seen before. So that's for me always a pleasure. And this is something you haven't seen before. So I like it. I like here. That's really well made. That sits perfect. That's Really well constructed, well designed, great, absolutely great. Okay, uh, there was one, this one by two brick, it's white, I needed it ta, so one bad piece in the first video, one wrong color in the second, two little mistakes, I can live with that, it's not nice, but it, they are much worse things, like the US president or other people 
And so, yes, like, it's okay. Overall, great. This was really great pleasure to build this part here. The second floor was much more fun than the first floor. Okay, that was it. Part two of assembling Shigao's corner mall. Yeah, I give a shh. This is Victor Frankenstein's lab lab. So this is much cooler. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm Frank from good old Germany presenting you cool stuff from China. Have a good time. Bye-bye.